Stop by to interact with the community and I every Friday night at 8 o'clock for live stream Fridays. Welcome trolls. <laughs>
But first, some greenery along the Terminator line, and I want you guys and gals to see the amount of craters, and well, they're actually called craterlets on the surface. They're not small, but for us, seen from here from Earth, they appear very small. And the closer we zoom in, well, they start to come into focus with the telescope, and the bigger the telescope, the more craters you can see. There are hundreds of thousands of them all over the surface, and I'm sure we're even looking at some that are not even named. Well, I'm telling you it's beyond teasing the winter. It's trying to hold on tightly here and I'm sure it's nearing the end, but I've been saying this for the past two weeks. It's actually pretty scary and I've seen in the States areas that hardly ever get any snow are now plunged into snowstorms still. Watch it out there on the roads, guys. You wake up in the morning, like I've been here all my life in Canada, but woke up this morning and almost landed on my back. I do it two, three times a year. The weather catches you at the last minute, it freezes up at the last second. Okay, blah, 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 boo, 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 boo. Let's go to the Apennine Mountain Range. What do you think of this? This is very interesting, isn't it? It's also very, very real. Um, the construction on this, hey, look at the complexity in the center of this. Oh my goodness. Look at the piping, the tunnelization. The, look at the so sophistication in the connections the alignment, the different levels, flat platforms. I mean, this is all constructed in the Apennine Mountains. Mare Fecunda Tatis, as we see here. Um, some say those lines up there looks like a satellite tower, but you know, it looks like a bridge or some type of connection to me here. But these are all energy sources and look down in the center here, how everything is just amazing. Imagine making a base in that, right? Well, I think it's already been thought of and I think that that's where they all are inside of the moon, right? But not only inside of the moon, look here in the darkness. This, you could clearly see it's not pixelation and look what I'm showing you in the circles. Really cool to see, natural or not, um, come on. I mean, I know that this for a fact that this is very interesting and it should have been, it should have been shown to the public unless there was something I don't know, secretive or something, you know, for example, I'm not insinuating anything, but <laughs> look what you're looking at. If I can get this, can be sure NASA knows that that's there. That's confirmed. And if it's not us, well, who the heck is up there? You have to really wonder. I love the Terminator line because uh, which those who don't know what the Terminator line is during the moon's phase, when we see the moon at different sizes because of that black line, well, we often see things along the Terminator line. Now here's a zoomed out of Copernicus, but look 
alongside of the crater's edge, let's say. I hate calling these craters because darn it, they really don't look like craters. Let's look at it um, through inversion, simple inversion. Now keep your eye on that object in the center there and the square-ish um, perimeter around it. And wow, look here. You could really see that object. It glows, it sticks out, right? This is, this is why I like using this inversion and the x-ray processing because you can really see uh, an object glowing. It's an unnatural glow. It's asides from the surface. Here are three different levels of zoom of Aristarchus Crater. Top right, you can see far out the moon and then left zooming in. But now in the bottom, we can see um, all, all the structuring, objects, connections that are all there. It's just a beautiful, amazing surface. Now, here it is close up. But I'm going to show you exactly where we are. And we're actually, we're, we're going to go just a little bit further in this circle right here beside Aristarchus Crater, inverted, zoomed up, very, very close, to see the objects along those um, white lines that are supposedly natural. You can clearly see that there is um, a connection of things. That so long is not natural. It really does not look like, uh, natural.